Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And, of course, we're going to be talking about the fabulous birthday party that Miss Portia threw for her glorified boyfriend, Simon, okay, for her father time. And as we can see, Diane made her presence there, but again, don't see her with Larry. There's Larry. Larry's got to be here somewhere, right? Or maybe they're not together, So I can't imagine Portia didn't take a picture of Larry and her getting down on the floor, okay? dancing, moving their hips, their thighs, and their body, 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 in my candy first voice. Uh, but Nene Leakes was there for the occasion. Mm -hmm. Her and her scammer Shaba. And it was a production that Portia Williams put on all by herself. She did it up to, I guess, the nines, you would call it. Even though Simon was not dressed appropriate for his birthday, he actually wore that same outfit on Portia's birthday. Okay, so that just shows us what he thinks about clothing. All right? And, you know, like I said, some people just don't like to dress. But, I mean, if you're going to be a part of the who's who, if I'm noticing you recycling clothes back and you only have a set wardrobe that you wear in, day in and day out, I'm sure the cream of the crop would notice that just as well. So, uh, what are we doing here? Portia and Nene, you're both messing with, well, your man got a divorce, uh, but not before you were fooling around with him. So we can put your Nene in the same boat. Oh, y'all just don't respect other people. Probably. All right. But anyway, we can see Portia has her ring back on. Maybe she had to get it resized. She had to get it restoned or cleaned. I have no idea. But the ring, as you can tell, is there. And um, I don't know if they're trying to do a two-step, which would have been much appropriate for her. But at least we got Simon got, or maybe we did it. We did it, family. We told her we didn't like her slutty dress, and she needed to do better. She needed to show up as classy, not trashy. She's doing fairly well, you know? Um... She got to have something, I guess. So we'll give her the little cut on those uh, the titties. Okay? We'll give her a little cut, little cut seam of that. And we need you to get a little further up. You know, we can just see some of the cleavage, not all of it. But you're doing much better, Portia. Appreciate it. Appreciate the effort. But then we got Nene looking all kind of crazy with that makeup. I don't know. I, I, like I said, she's in a black folks body. But she is giving us an alluded to she wants to. Okay, and I guess that was the end of the celebration. And this again, you see her ring is back on her finger right here. So I don't know, maybe like I said, they had to clean it or something. But I don't know why it's looking like it's black right here. Maybe that's just the shade of it. But yes, yes, yes. Simon seems like he is overwhelmed with all the people that came out to, and they even got him a little birthday picture there. Um, Everybody came out for his big day, and as you can see, and I'm trying to figure out why these two people, Scammer, Shaba, and Peter Thomas, always together. What kind of schemes are they cooking up these days? But, like I said, I don't know where the party was located at, but it was a restaurant, I'm pretty sure, and they probably had it broke off where her party of, what, 10 came out to support Portia and Simon's uh, celebration. All right, because it couldn't have been them too many people. You see what I'm saying? Because they had it in a local restaurant, and you can't just take the whole. But well, you know, I ain't gonna lie. If you got that money, you got that time, and they like you, you can't shut down a whole restaurant. It could just be for your uh, party. 
okay, party of 200, party of 12, I, I, I'm not really sure, but um, we know Portia didn't, because we saw other people around, and they weren't looking like they were part of her party uh, scene, so, unless she going with all this Elvira hair, or, or what, Morticia hair, I'm like, come on, Portia, if you want long hair like that, baby, grow, grow it, it can be done, takes a lot of time, takes a lot of energy, but it can be done. But uh, I guess you just uh, wear your go naked hair, and we did a video on that about her and the best better uh, better business bureau and what they're thinking and saying about her go naked hair and some reviews. So make sure y'all check out that particular video. All right, but uh, like I said, uh, seems like they had fun. The heels were getting on porch and nerves because she had to go to the flats. And my my dear, if you can't wear them, don't front like you can. Just go and get you a wedge and call it. Day. And I don't know why Portia like to grind on the man's private part. I really don't understand. The man is almost six years old. He don't need you doing all of that. Okay, you might be irritating him when you do it. it might be getting a little sensitive down there. Oh, uh, of course you wanted to be getting hard, thinking he's gonna get some. But we already know when he got home, he probably went straight to bed. <laughs> they had, or you all had tired him the hell out. Okay. So, um, if you want that type of lifestyle, for sure, uh, you're not going to get it with him. Because he's in his uh, later years in life. And he needs everything to kind of be somewhat uh, quiet and um, serene and uh, kind of peaceful. He just try to do a two-step if he wants to do that. But you were trying to bump and grind on him like you were doing it with R. Kelly or something. Ain't nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. I see nothing wrong. Yes, it's R. Kelly. Y'all tried to mute his ass. I'm telling you, I don't like what he was uh, accused of doing, but that music was jamming. And I'm going to still be listening to it. I'm, you know, I'm going to give you the truth of the matter. Brother had some bars, you know what I'm saying? He made you want, I mean, his collection is about as bad as Prince's collection. Or Luther Vandross, you know what I'm saying? You hate the scene that they did, but you don't hate the music. And that's where I stand on that. Okay, if anybody wants to know that, I just thought I would throw that in now. Since she was just uh, grinding on it, like Beyonce, grinding on the surfboard, surfboard. Grinding on that wood, gr grinding on that wood. See, 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 see. Yeah, y'all know I can do that. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that's her and her so called man, glorified boyfriend. Most people, if they know her and they get into her groove of respect, then y'all will call her her fiance. But like I said, it's, it's too much. You know, can't nobody at their age be engaged for no fucking years. Okay? they wasting time and energy. If you want to be with the man, go on and be with the man. Go to the courthouse, have a lavish, uh, what do you call it, celebration party, and keep living life. But, uh, yeah, I'm still trying to figure it out. Y'all need to help me understand. How in the world, in a residential area, within, within the gated community, you can house people's cars? Okay? And I'm like, so he just like babysitting cars? He get paid real well for that? Is that what you're telling me? And then sometimes he may have an option of rolling around town in these cars that he's hosting or uh, babysitting. Do you think the people want him to be riding around in their cars? Because he sure was showcasing that big ass uh, Rolls Royce. Um, it was huge. So I know that cost uh, about a million or, or something. Sitting in his yard. And hopefully he got insurance for that stuff in case somebody want to challenge him and come take it off his hands without him knowing it, okay? But yeah, okay, yeah, Simon had a very good birthday. Happy birthday, young man, you, uh, young senior, young boy, however you want to look at yourself, okay? Uh, happy, happy birthday, many more, many more, many more. But um, it seemed like, I ain't going to say it was a star-studded event because um, Simon don't know many stars. And if he knows some, more than likely, he met the Porsche. Okay, I mean, a ludicrous, he's a celebrity down here. And I know he bought his restaurant, but then shortly after, it went belly up. Or he just decided to get rid of it because he didn't have time to invest in uh, making it be a big and wealthy establishment. Well, it would create the interest of normal day people. 
uh, who could afford to go to those type of luxurious restaurants where he's just catering to the celebrities that live here as well as the ones that come here for vacationing or just an excursion. Okay. But yes, that was happy, happy birthday, Simon. And of course, we got Miss Diane without a chaperone. Where is a chaperone? Where is Larry? That's what I want to know. Okay, two beautiful women. You can't take that away from them. Their bodies are like banging, wild, and free. And they like to party. I don't know when Miss Diane going to sit her ass down and stop doing all that partying. But hey, she got she done made her body. And that's the body that she probably had in her 20-year-old. And she's going to flaunt it. And, and showcase it and try to catch as many people with money, many men that she possibly can. Polar, polar, polar. Okay, because he's probably one of those simple type guys that worked hard all his life and he just want to be able to relax and enjoy his family, his friends, and, you know, his companion that he has in uh, Mr. Ann, which I don't know why they married unless they just don't want to get coupled up with the Social Security Administration where they get uh, taxed real hard and their income go down a little bit by them being in a union, a recognized union, okay? One that has papers that are signed in the courthouse. All right, and we can go pull them up at whim. But yeah, that's probably what I thought. Um, cause I knew, uh, I know a few elderly people even in my family that just decided just to have a companion because they can't afford to, um, let the IRS or the social security people mess with them, uh, when they have, when they're seen and deemed as, uh, married, as a marriage status. Okay. But that's all I have for this video, guys. I just wanted to, uh, showcase Mr. Gabadia. And she's wishing him a happy, happy, happy uh, 58th birthday. But looking like he's about 69. I'm sorry. I said 69, right? I mean, 79, 89. However, 109. Okay. But technically, they say he's 58. I do believe. So we're just going to go with 58 and be thinking in our mind, yeah, all right. You're trying to be a model out there and don't want to tell your true age. But you go ahead, brother. You go ahead, do your thing, do your thing. We need you to change up on the wardrobe. When you have the 59th birthday, God willing, we don't want to see that outfit, Simon. And I'm going to get ready to do a video where I can show you, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Scamma Shaba, his uh, luxurious line that you can partake in. And I'm sure Nene would probably tell him to give you a little discount because you don't like playing top tier for nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Because I'm pretty sure all your cars you gifted for sure are used cars. There's nothing wrong with being used, okay? But sometimes you just want to have something brand new right off the showroom floor with zero miles on it you know i purchased a car like that before it was a grand am yes when grand Ams and grand prix and uh what's the other car uh i can't think of it. my my cousin had a line model uh oh i can't i can't think of it oh i just make me mad but i can't think of shit see it in my head see it in my mind i can't even remember the name of stuff but you know they had the grand am then they had the grand prix and then they had another one. My cousin had the, the latest, highest one you could probably buy out there. And I, I don't know. I was just being, you know, wanting to follow my cousin. So, but I really did like the Grand Am. And I got one of those. It was off the showroom floor. Oh, yes, it was. at zero miles. I just let them cruise it out for me. And I rolled around in the sunset. <laughs> But, you know, once in a time, you want to have that experience. It's a very, very nice experience, okay? So, I can see uh, Simon not being able to afford the brand new one, uh, you know, because it is kind of high and it's kind of ridiculous how they price those cars. But I guess if you could ride in one that did get pulled off the showroom floor and they are trusting you to house their cars for whatever reason, um then let it be so. At least you can be in it and you can say it ain't mine, but I'm in it. <laughs> I'm going to take pictures in it. So that's what he's doing over there. But again, congratulations. Happy celebration of your 58 uh, years of living in this world. And we hope you prosper and you do well with your latter years. Okay? Yes. Um, and then we're not going to even ask you anymore what you do because you don't care about telling us. And we really don't really got bored and tired of asking you. We'll just give back to what you give us and if you're doing something good we will promote you over here if you're doing something bad we will recognize you for that bad stink that you're doing out there and uh tell you to pull up don't do that no more because ain't nobody got time to go to jail you got too many beautiful kids out there 
that you don't spurn into this world uh, that need taken care of. Okay? But that's all I got, y'all. Enjoy y'all Sunday, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Oh, for, don't forget to subscribe and, and share and like my videos and comment. You know, get on down in the comments and tell me what you think about certain things and things that you want to talk about. And I do have, so don't, I'm going to be changing my Dale Chanel's 4 Days World, my banner. So don't pay attention to none of that stuff now. But if you do want to email me with stories and, and, and you know, whatever, that you don't feel comfortable about putting it in the chat room, do it, uh, send it to Dale Chanel's 4 Days World at Yahoo.com. Dale Chanel, 4 Days World at Yahoo.com. And I would definitely get that with you. And you may see your story that you wanted me to um, sh show and present on my channel. And I will give you a shout out. Okay? Yes, we work. We, we know. We're we trying to get a little. Uh, we trying to get in the numbers, y'all. We're trying to get in the numbers. So we can get that um, YouTube. Because I always wanted that YouTube a plaque or whatever, and I am gunning for it, and I know y'all can help me achieve that. That's one thing I would want to do uh, since I started YouTube and stuff. I, I set that as my goal. So as I put out stories and I uh, ask my family to enlist in what stories they want me to uh, cover, I need y'all to definitely be helping my numbers dry up, you know. So I want y'all to help me with that, okay? Uh, but anyway, uh, that was a PSA, public service announcement. And um, I'll get with y'all later, okay? I'll get with y'all much later. Bye-bye.